Oh, peeps, welcome or well, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be going over a D stash haul. So, I acquired this from one of the D stash pages. She was offering them for like 30 shipped. I ordered two of them. I haven't gone into them. I just opened it up so it makes it easier so you guys don't have to hear all that on camera. So we're just gonna go ahead and get into this. Now, she was doing whether it was bakery, fruity, or fruity bakery, you can pick which, whichever you want it. Um, I myself am a bakery lover, I also love fruity. So that's what I gave her and told her. So with that being said, we're gonna just go ahead and get into this, okay? She did ship them separately. She put them each in a platted, padded flat rate envelope. So we'll get through the first one. So the first one we have here is Monster Jam by Southbound. Now I did see that she was, you know, she had this and she was offering this. So I had asked her if it was possible if she could put this in my package, and she did. I love Monster Jam. And Monster Jam is just like a roadside farmer's market where all the notes of the fresh jams and preserves collide. This bag looks like it's been through some things. This, this is what it looks like. Oh God, I'm getting wax all over the place. I love me some Monster Jam. I really do. Now, I haven't seen her offer this in a minute. I get, like, a berry jam from this. It's so good. I love it. Now, I won't be opening and taking everything out. I just wanted to see this, and now I made a whole entire mess on my desk. Oh, goodness. That's going to drive me nuts. Okay. Thankfully, I still have to clean. So, that was Monster Jam by Southbound. The next thing we have in here is a loaf from L3 Waxy Wonders and Cupcakes at Tiffany's White Elephant Exchange. And White Elephant Exchange is powdered donuts, vanilla wafers, white cake, and vanilla frosting. Um, I don't really smell anything from this one. Yeah, I'm not really getting any, anything from this one. But I have um, had this scent in my stash before, and I've melted it, and I did enjoy it. We have from Rose Girls a bag of mini melters in Cookie Land. These bags, I don't know. They, ooh, a wax just jumped and hit me in my face. This doesn't. This smells like it smells fruity or like. Citrusy, like Fruit Loops or something. That's what that smells like to me. Now, usually, when I do uh, order these stashes, I try to let them breathe a little bit because I know since they've been in there together, you know, they. But these smell like if she just had all of the wax in her stash just together, and it like took on other scents. I don't know that's how she had it, but that's what it seems like to me. From Salem Soy, we have Strawberry Pound Cake and this. Goodness gracious. I get, I get Fruit Loops from this too. With some, stra with some Strawberry Pound Cake. I'm gonna have to let these sit out and breathe a little bit, possibly rebag them because 
I can't. I'm very anal when it comes to my bags. And this would drive me crazy if I kept that in my sash like that. So I'm going to rebag everything. And that is it for the first bag. Now on to the second bag. So we have from Cypress Ridge Tan Lines and Good Times, which is Key Lime Pie, Coconut, and Bum Bum. And this cute little emoji face. I've never purchased from this vendor before. I get coconut. That smells good. She got a good thing. Got a good coconut. Oh. And if I sniff hard, hard enough, I get key lime pie. So I just noticed there's a pointing on here that says June of 2021. From L3 Waxy Wonders, we have Vanilla Satin Beach Nights and White Cake. And she wrote on here April 11th of 2022. Now, here's my thing. I don't mind getting older wax in a D-stash. Again, you pretty much, a lot of the D-stashes are very good with letting you know how old the wax is. She did not state on the post how old the wax was. I don't mind getting, again, wax that's older but from certain vendors because there are some vendors that past the year mark they just do not perform for me so this one is from april of 2022 and this is vanilla satin beach nights and white cake from l3 i get i get the, the beach nights I don't know what vanilla satin is. I do get a, va a vanilla note. I don't know if that's from the vanilla satin or from the white cake maybe. I don't know. But it also is coming off a bit perfumey to me. From Rocky Top Waxworks. This is vanilla double down. This is vanilla B. Noel and French Lat French. Vanilla. That's what it looks like. Her clamshells be so pretty. Yeah, I'm getting the French vanilla from this. It smells good. And maybe a slight hint of the VBN. This one is pop possibly the only newer one. This one is from January of 2024. From L3, we have a trig and strawberry sugar. This one also has a poor date, not a poor date, has a date on it of April of 2022. Now, I know L3's strawberry sugar because I love her strawberry sugar. This must have taken on scent from other scents that she may have had because this is this is not strawberry sugar this is coming off floral to me ah we have l3 waxy one this fruit loop zucchini bread so maybe that's why i was getting fruit loops in those other two this one has a five of 21 so i don't know if that's of 2021 or not some fruit loops but it smells like i'm getting like ground coffee in this as well yeah i don't know about that but that was fruit loops zucchini bread <clears throat> she put a lot of l3 in here we have telekinesis and i melted te telekinesis before and i really do enjoy it this uh bakery bomb white elephant exchange and sugar shortbread and i can get the sugar shortbread in this one look how cute these lips are cutesy yeah i get the sugar shortbread from this one 
I do like telekinesis. So good. Not too long ago, I had a sample of telekinesis. It was just a square, square piece, and I put it in my back hallway because that one was old. That one was probably just as old as this. Oh, she don't have a date on this one. But it was old. It was from like either 2020 or 2021. I was like, oh, this ain't come through. So I put it in my back hallway. Yeah, okay. I went out to my back hallway and that thing was throwing like nobody's business. From Harper James, we have cupcakes at Tiffany's and this is butter toffee, chocolate, buttercream, vanilla cake. Does this have a full date? No, it does not. Oh, on the back she has 11 of 2022. Yeah, it's cupcakes at Tiffany's. Her cupcakes at Tiffany's comes out, uh, the chocolate comes out more. I definitely would have to melt this when the hugs isn't home because we all know how he feels about cupcakes at Tiffany's. everything <sighs> from sassy girl roma we have smurfs in the kitchen and this is blueberry marshmallow cookies birthday cake twinkies and vanilla fudge butter i've melted this scent before this does not smell like smurfs in the kitchen i'm getting fruit loops again This brittle is like, this has a date of March of 2022. Sassy girl, I'm good with letting it, you know, go. But I've also melted stuff from Sassy girl that was three, four years old. And it really didn't perform for me. So I, I have to be careful with Sassy girl. L3 Waxing Wonders, we have strawberry rhubarb, pie crust, vanilla ice cream, and angel cool cake. I do love me some strawberry rhubarb. I do. We don't have a date on this. This one looks like it may be a little, a little newer. Yeah, I get that strawberry rhubarb, but I also get like a green note from this. Mm, yeah, I like that. Sassy Girl Aroma, Adipose Beach Nights, and Miss Claus Cookies. This one then turn colors. I get the Beach Nights. I love me some Beach Nights. Mm -hmm. She must have known I love L3 because, or she loved L3 because she got a lot of L3 stuff. This is Coffin Cake, and it's a butter pecan, shortbread, caramel drizzle, mallows, sugar cookie royale. I'm probably not going to like this because anything pecan, butter pecan, it comes off to me as pumpkin pecan waffles, and I cannot do PPW. No matter how I can try, I just cannot do PPW. And this also has caramel. Yeah. Um, this coming off as PPW with caramel. That's all right because I do know someone that loves PPW. I'll send it to him. And the last thing we have in here is a Rose Girls Mini Melted Bag, a Raspberry Mama Bear Paws, and this Raspberry Sauce, Dunk My Donut, Birthday Cake, and Bear Claws. Jenny's Raspberry Sauce is so strong. That's, that's all I get is her Raspberry Sauce. It, to me, it tends to dominate whatever it's in. And that's all I smell is that raspberry sauce. I don't prefer her raspberry sauce. Yeah, that's all, that's all I get is that raspberry sauce. 
And that is it. And that is all. That is my bee stash haul. Now, hopefully I have learned my lesson. I keep telling myself, girl, you just can't be purchasing <laughs> bee stash and wax from just anybody. Now, I've never purchased anything from this said person before. So this is my first time getting a bee stash from her. Um, I think I've learned my lesson now. So going forward, I will just stick to people that I do know and I have purchased from before. Because again, like I said, I don't mind if stuff is older, but one, I would like to be informed that it's older. Like most of these stashes do, they do let you know, you know, if it's older or whatever. And again, if it's certain vendors, I don't mind if it is older because I know how it will perform in my home. But there are certain vendors that just pass a year mark. They just don't perform for me. So, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your weekend, and I will talk to you guys later. Ciao.